Hello and welcome to our today's webinar. We are happy to have the partner at Galaxy with us today and I welcome Maggi and Premislav to our today's session. Hello, are you there? Hello from Warsaw, we are here. Hello, hello. Good to hear Perfect. you. Just to give you an idea who is on the phone and some pictures. I will now hand over to you directly and you could guide us through your presentation and give us an idea what's your product about. Yes, thank you very much for the introduction. Uh, I would like to start with some slides because our presentation will be divided into uh, two parts. The first one will be mostly slides, but then we'll move to the live demo of our implementations, uh, existing implementations, our customers and so on. Now, just to be sure, can you see my screen? Yes, we can see the screen. Great. So I'll start with a brief introduction of our company. We started operations in 2008. We were founded as a R&D center for the ATM Capital Group, but then because of some Financial changes, we are part uh, now of Attend the Capital Group and we are listed on Warsaw Stock Exchange. We are operating in three market sectors, of, of which multimedia is the most important one, but uh, we have some products for cyber security, especially for DDoS mitigation, because they are closely re related to our CDN business and for the smart grid. Our company consists of over 100 people and 56 of them are dedicated to multimedia division and are mostly software developers, project managers, and so on. So what we are doing? We started uh, in 2008 from CDN. Then we tried to and we managed to develop the whole OTT platform, the whole OTT ecosystem, which allows to process allows to uh, provide full chain of content uh, processing from acquisition like ingesting, live ingesting, transcoding, distribution and playback. Uh, the Red Galaxy platform consists of multiple components. They are quite loosely coupled so you can deploy one component without any external dependencies and it's, it is available in both cloud and on-premise uh, models. The platform is developed since 2008 and it's fully based on our own IP and technology. So we do not rely on any third party components. Uh, so we do not sell any third party uh, devices for CDN transcoding and so on. Everything was developed in house. To give you an idea how Red Galaxy looks like, uh, I'll show you a brief uh, logical diagram. Uh, I will describe it uh, coming from the left. So in the left, we've got Transcoding farm. It's based as all, as all parts of Red Galaxy on our own software, but it runs on top of NVIDIA GPU cards. We are able to encode both live and VOD content. In case of live, we, will, we are supporting MPEG2 transport streams and SDI inputs. Uh, encoding farm is available in two business models. In cloud, when you provide us content to encode, for example, live channels uh, in MPEG2 transport stream format, or on-premise when, when you provide an appliance we, uh, equipped with uh, NVIDIA GPU cards and with our so software running on it. The second way of uh, Red Galaxy Coder use is uh, VOD encoding. In this case, we provide a convenient SOAP API to allow to upload files and to create encoding tasks. Of course, of course, you are able to check status and other important uh, metrics regarding uh, these encoding tasks. So we can support basically most important input formats and we can easily encode H.264, H.265 codecs with best achievable quality. The next part of our, the platform is Red Galaxy Storage. It's basically a distributed storage cluster. It consists of dozens of uh, PC servers. They are spread across multiple data centers. So we are providing a safe storage for all kinds of uh, multimedia content. 
from VOD content, so catch-up TV, NPVR, backwards EPG, and so on. So all types of video content uh, is stored here, and it's replicated automatically across uh, multiple data centers. And we provide a convenient API, which allows to access this content and alter some metadata, which affects how this content is available using the CDN. The next part is CDN itself. We are the biggest CDN provider in Poland, and we are expanding across the Europe. Our CDN currently consists of over 200 nodes or points of presence in multiple Polish ISPs and uh, internet exchange points. Our current maximum traffic is about 500 gigabits per second, and we are ready to handle over one terabit uh, uh, per second of traffic because uh, we utilize our own network and uh, we will utilize the 100 gig uh, networking interfaces in basically all important pops. The next part of platform is DRM subsystem. We are cooperating tightly with Microsoft, Google and Apple, so we can provide those three DRMs, namely PlayReady, Widevine and uh, Fairplay, on top of our cloud-based uh, license servers. So if you use Red Galaxy, you can easily have DRM as a part of whole ecosystem with a minimum fee. The last part of the system is Portal and Player. Portal consists of two layers. The first layer is backend, mostly for integration part and for content management. And it's basically some kind of video CMS. And uh, the front-end part it's, uh, consists of apps which are available on multi multiple platforms, uh, of course, with uh, DRM support and uh, video quality adaptation. I will show you a detailed list of platforms on the uh, next slide. So Red Galaxy Portal provides features from three areas. CMS, Media Asset Management, some kind of CRM, and of course it provides a customizable web portal and mobile applications for end users. Red Galaxy Portal comes with Red Galaxy Player, and it's a multi-platform video player, also developed by us without any third-party components. It supports DRM analytics and our server integration using Vast API. Of course, we are ready to uh, support third-party app developers, so we provide an open REST API for Red Galaxy plat uh, Portal platform, and you can easily develop your own app for non-existing platform using this uh, API and using our player library. For now, we support following platforms. Web, Android with Chromecast, iOS, Android TV, including custom set-top boxes, because uh, we are just after the most important Android TV deployment in Poland. It was carried for Play mobile network operator. It's the largest mobile network operator in Poland. And in this deployment, we developed a full uh, firmware based on Android TV 8 for Sargent.com set-top box, for the custom set-top box, of course, with operator tier and custom launcher. So operator tier set-top box just for the, for the telco market. Mm, we support uh, connected TV platforms too, like Samsung Smart TV, LG WebOS, game consoles like PS4, and now we are working on two platforms. The first, most important, is Apple TV. The second one is Vestal. It's the connected TV platform, uh, which is manufactured in Turkey, but it's available in, across the Europe uh, using the brand Toshiba. So I will show you some brief uh, information about Red Galaxy Portal features. It supports different business models for content distribution from AVOD, to SVOD and TVOD, so both advertisement, subscription, and transaction-based VOD. We support multiple channels for payments. Some are prepaid, like PayPal, for example. Some are postpaid. We can support a direct carrier billing, and we can integrate with existing telco billing system. And of course, we can provide a wallet, uh, which is available in the platform, allows to purchase points, which can be uh, changed to the multimedia assets. Uh, regarding the VOD features, we support typical playback features from autoplay, playlists, 
with next epi episode playback. Of course, social features mostly based on Facebook, but we can support offline and download to own scenario, which allows to download, download a piece of content, a piece of asset, uh, which is still protected by DRM, and you can uh, view it without network connectivity. It is available on two platforms, Android and iOS. Regarding the live features, the typical live scenario, of course, is, is supported, but we can support time shifting, backwards EPG, our, our networking PVR, which works seamless with our CDM, and uh, we can provide quite complicated EPG. It can be already integra integrated with the player. I will show you uh, in a few minutes such example. Red Galaxy platform provides full text search for uh, VOD content and for live content, of course, including EPG details. And it can provide a configurable fallback for in case of uh, empty uh, results. And moving further to Red Galaxy Player, it's a video player suited to be used on multiple platforms. It comes as a library, a native library for three platforms. Web platform is based on JavaScript and HTML5 with MPEG Dash support and uh, wide range player ready and fair play DRM systems. And for mobile devices, we provide Android library and uh, iOS library. Both, both are supporting native streaming formats and native DRM systems, which is important because it helps to maintain wide range of uh, compatibility between devices. All kinds of player provide a common API and uh, a common playlist format. Of course, it's, it's based on JSON and it's quite well documented, so you can easily integrate such player with any third-party OTT platform. Uh, player itself supports uh, all uh, previously stated business models, so all kinds of VOD, all, all kinds of uh, live, and of course, integration with uh, external ad servers using Vast and VPAID. Right now, we are working on a tight integration with uh, Google DFP, which involves uh, uh, dynamic ad insertion, which will be covered by CDN. Player, of course, supports multiple languages, including subtitles also with multiple languages. So we prefer web VTT format, but we can easily adapt to other subtitle formats. We provide a vast uh, pool of analytical events so during playback, uh, you can see if user has bit rate adaptation or user is seeking, pausing, stopping content. All kinds of business events and technical events are acquired by player and can be shared with external analytical systems like Google Analytics or, for example, uh, Gmius uh, uh, platform, which is quite uh, popular in Poland. Of course, we provide automatic and manual betrayal adaptation. It's available on, on all platforms, depending on the algorithm, depends on, on platform capabilities. If you are interested to, in, in seeing how Red Galaxy Player performs in your environment, you can visit uh, the URL playredgalaxy.com and you can play with uh, embedding your player, this player on, on your website and choosing some demo content. Uh, which can include, for example, DRM uh, protected content. Moving further to Red Galaxy Portal, some more technical slides. We provide uh, Red Galaxy Portal is built upon Java Enterprise Edition stack, and it provides some separate modules for asset management, for tracking and reporting, for content management. We've got uh, a part of e-commerce, so all transactions are handled by, directly by Red Galaxy platform. We provide help desk module, we provide uh, customer and subscription management module, and what is important for, uh, for asset and uh, for asset holders and content holders, we've got some sophisticated business roles in terms of handling limits of sim simultaneous streams, simultaneous devices, and so on, so you, user can upgrade, for example, the number of these devices. It's handled by Red Galaxy platform. And the last module is key management system. It is integrating with our DRM license servers available in our cloud. 
And uh, Red Galaxy Portal exposes a uh, few external APIs. We usually integrate with uh, what, we, what we call importer or ingester. So it's a watch holder, which is used to import automatically external video assets. In some of our deployments, we use over 20 of such importers suited for different formats of multimedia contents and to different providers of multimedia content. We usually integrate with DRM license server, either ours or external. With uh, GIP database, we usually rely on MaxMind GIP because we've got an agreement with MaxMind. So it's for us, it's, it's the easiest way to provide their services. Uh, and we integrate with uh, recommendation engines, engines because sophist sophisticated uh, recommendations are usually handled by external modules. To be more precise on technical part or architect architectural part of the uh, platform, uh, Red Galaxy Portal is based on white, white, white fly application server for business methods and for API methods we are using Tomcat application server. It is hand the whole uh, object uh, storage is handled by Postgres SQL and we are utilizing Varnish and uh, Haproxy for uh, caching, load balancing and SSL offload. What is very important, we can the platform can be deployed on top of AWS. We got a lot of references which involve uh, heavy AWS uh, usage, including auto scaling. Some of our largest deployments involve over 30, uh, 50 nodes, uh, all of them uh, hosted in AWS. And the last architectural thing, the whole platform is based on single page architecture. We are based on Vue.js library. And uh, why this is important? Because uh, we are providing a single REST endpoint for both web application and all kinds of other applications. So there, there is a common API for all end user applications. It helps a lot to develop third party applications by a customer itself. The next part of Red Galaxy platform is Red Galaxy CDN. CDN is scaled well to support large scale streaming with most important uh, adaptive streaming protocols like Dash, Smooth Streaming, and some legacy uh, protocols like RTSP uh, and Shoutcast. Uh, as I said before, we've got over 200 nodes right now. Uh, the traffic figure is somehow bigger, but uh, the capacity is over one terabit uh, per second. And we've got some features which are not present in other CDNs because our architecture is somehow different. We call this edge-centric architecture. And uh, it means that we do not provide a separate content origin. So all kind of content processing like packaging, encryption, like image scaling, cropping, and so on, it's, it is handled by CDN edge nodes itself. So if user connects to a CDN edge nodes, we are checking if content, if content is available in the cache. If not, it's uh, on demand packaged from external source and in the content storage, you can have only one common format for all different user platforms. The next uh, nice feature is seamless time shift and catch up. And it allows us to easily record all live channels. So all live channels are not automatically recorded in a so-called video buffer, cyclic buffer, which is uh, available in a predefined uh, period, like seven days or 14 days and so on. And you can easily access this content just by providing timestamps as a URL parameters. So there is no need to have a separate way to handle backwards EPG, either uh, NPVR. It's all handled by CDN. In terms of security, we are providing geofencing with MaxMind GIP. It's the uh, free database, but you can of course use the better one with uh, better uh, geomapping. And we can use MaxMind anonymous IP. In this case, the database is of course paid and it allows to find out if uh, IP address can be an open proxy or turn on or something uh, fishy. 
Uh, if you do not uh, want to use DRM systems, which uh, by the way are quite uh, cost effective in our uh, system, you can uh, use other uh, kinds of uh, content restriction like uh, time constraint tokens, which are encrypted and uh, you can prevent users from accessing content outside of the licensing window. Okay, so the next part of Red Galaxy Co uh, platform is Red Galaxy Coder. We support H.264 and H.265 codecs with arbitrary resolutions up to 4K or even 8K, and it's based on NVIDIA and VNQ units. We can encode about five or six channels, depending on the quality profiles, on a single uh, GPU card. So, because of this GPU offload, the performance of the uh, whole system is uh, very high. We provide support for both VOD and live scenarios, and architectures of our color is based upon graph. So, you can de easily define a processing chain of content, which consists of encoding nodes, decoding nodes, demuxing nodes, some filters, cropping nodes, watermarking nodes, and everything what you want. We provide over 40 types of different content processing nodes, and it's your imagination to connect, or connect those nodes to specific video processing path. In terms of hardware audio-video inputs, we provide support for typical common Blackmagic cards with SDA and HDMI inputs, and for ALSA-based sound cards in case of audio-only scenario. And uh, like all our backend and low-level components, Red Galaxy Calder is implemented in C++, and we are relying on Linux platform as a control plane. Uh, as I said before, it's available in on-premise and cloud deployments. For VOD encoding, we provide a convenient API which allows to create encoding tasks, which allows to manage those tasks with some predefined presets because defining such processing graph can be uh, a bit uh, difficult. So we, some predefined presets are existing. And uh, you provide content encryption parameters so you can choose type of encryption, common encryption, or HLSRs, and provide encryption keys or rely on us to generate such encryption keys. During uh, transcoding tasks, asynchronous callbacks are happening all the time, so you are getting known about the progress, and if some error occurs, or if file is uh, ready, which we call a commit. And uh, all files, both input and output, are, are automatically stored on Red Galaxy storage, so it can be easily accessed using our CDM. You can see here a typical content processing graph, so uh, I will not uh, dive into details, but uh, to show you how many nodes can be there and how those nodes are interconnected. You can see demuxing node with some clock drift node to provide uh, input uh, timestamp normalization, some uh, video decoding node and audio decoding node to decode source uh, uh, tracks of uh, of video and audio and some pixel format converter to generate slides slide shots because uh, a part of our platform is live uh, slide shotting feature so you can uh, uh, publish on your portal uh, live channels with uh, 10 second or even five second slides which are gen generated by encoder and uh, provided to CDN. And other processing nodes are gap filter, dropping node, cropping node, boxing node, and watermarking node. You can probably uh, know what is, uh, what, is, what is it for, mostly for some content ad adaptation like uh, providing uh, a lo uh, logo of, of specific channel on top of it. Okay, so moving away from Red Galaxy Coder, the next important part of platform is Red Galaxy Storage. For now, our capacity is over three petabytes in four uh, 
data centers across Warsaw and each piece of content is fragmented and uh, automatically distributed across uh, servers and right now we've got over 150 servers which uh, are acting as uh, uh, Red Galaxy storage space. Uh, and as I said before, the whole platform, the whole storage uh, space can be utilized for different uh, scenarios, uh, VOD, live catch, uh, sorry, live with time shift, uh, catch up TV, and so on. And regarding storage access, the typical API is uh, HTTP REST with typical HTTP methods like put, get, delete, and so on. But we can provide a Linux Fuse driver too. It allows you to mount such a remote file system on your local server and treat it somehow like a local uh, hard disk. Uh, along with uh, content, we store a list of metadata, like information about DRM keys, and uh, information about desired number of replicas and so on. So key such key value metadata is inherited across uh, directory tree and uh, is uh, used to instrument CDN edge nodes to provide specific features. For example, to provide time shifting window or to provide uh, dynamic on the fly encryption. And regarding this uh, DRM part and security part, we are certified by those three uh, partners or vendors, Microsoft, Google and Apple. And in all cases, we obtained DRM SDKs, so we are able to issue DRM licenses using our infrastructure, not relying on any external third-party infrastructure like Google's cloud. Moving away from content, uh, from, from platform description, some implementations, our most important customer is TVN, which is now a part of Discovery Group, which is, provides a largest Polish VOD service, player.pl, available on multiple different platforms with uh, uh, dozens of live channels, of course, with time shift backwards, EPG, and so on. We've got over 40k VOD assets and monthly players used by over 3 million of real users. And uh, all parts of player rely on a Galaxy platform from 2011 in terms of CDN encoding and storage. But in 2017, they switched from in-house developed solution in terms of portal and applications to our Red Galaxy ecosystem. So it, we, we were both, we are better cost effective comparing to in-house team. The next important customer, Play, the largest currently, it's, it's the largest Polish uh, mobile network operator with 15 million of subscribers and we prepared playnow.pl, implemented in three months because Play was a greenfield. It's a typical platform with VOD, with uh, live TV, with time shift and PVR, uh, and uh, it's available on web, Android with Chromecast, because uh, Chromecast is sold by Play uh, along with uh, mobile devices and mobile subscriptions. Of course, iOS, and as I said before, a custom Sajamcom based uh, Android TV set the box with custom launcher compatible with operator tier requirements including Netflix certification. So the box is preloaded with Netflix app. The last important reference is Vectra, one of the largest cable TV providers in Poland, and we provided them with a multi-screen sol solution which allows to view mostly live content but with some catch-up TV, just for the customers which, who already have a digital TV service from Vectra. So it allows to use to view live streaming on other devices in the household. And for Red Galaxy, Vector TV online platform uses Red Galaxy since 2011. I will show you in more details all those deployments in a moment. And last deployment, Multimedia Polska, 
one of the largest cable TV providers. And what is important here, because Portal is quite uh, typical comparing to our, our other, other deployments, in this case, we had to integrate with existing OTT backend, which was based on the Harmonic encoders and Azure uh, CDN solution, operator CDN. We've got other customers, but I don't want to make you bored, so I'll skip to next slide, roadmap. What we are working on now. Our one of most important project is dynamic ad insertion. We are implementing DAI on both sides of Red Galaxy platform, so both client side and server side. The idea is to allow to inject uh, adverts into live stream, which in which uh, advertisement breaks or windows are signaled uh, using SCT35 uh, protocol. And such ad injection will be carried using external VPAID or VAST integration, and such ad views will be reported to external platforms. And this is why we are cooperating with Google. Other important uh, tasks that we are working on is support for HDR10. It's completed and re ready for production. We are working on HTTP, HTTP pool CDN scenario, which, allow, which will allow to use our CDN as a plain reverse proxy in case uh, that you have uh, existing uh, content origin. We are working on live subtitling with OCR because many of live streams, especially in Poland, comes with DVB subtitles, which are bitmaps, and you need to OCR or recognize them using uh, specialized mo module during encoding and to uh, provide them ultimately using WebVTT or other kind of internet-wise uh, subtitle format. And uh, in portal part, we work on some demo apps, mostly for commercial, commercial purposes, and we are evolving right now into microservices architecture, which will allow us, us to scale better on a, a AWS uh, and to not to rely on uh, auto-scaling uh, uh, part of EC2 instances. And uh, the next and the last part is multi-tenancy. It will allow to publish different subsets of content to different end-user portals with some minor customizations like logo, like different user databases and so on. So multiple brands, multiple services operated on a single infrastructure and single Red Galaxy license. Okay, so I will give the voice to Machi. Machi will show you some business model and uh, our features and uh, benefits from Red Galaxy. And then I will show you some live de demo. Okay. Uh, hello again, it's uh, Maciej Zientek. Uh, let's move on to the business part a little bit. Uh, I would like to tell a few words about our value proposition. Okay, uh, uh, so in a nutshell, uh, what uh, do we offer in, really and uh, where do we find ourselves? Uh, so, we provide software solutions for video content delivery, playback, presentation and, monet and monetization. Uh, we provide them and we offer them uh, mainly as a service. Uh, the name of the whole ecosystem or the, or the name of the family of products is Red Galaxy. This is a common uh, name for all the components. And in particular, uh, under this name, we offer CDN, storage, uh, transcoders, DRM servers, uh, web and mobile player together with the whole uh, full OTT uh, solution. And uh, to whom do we address uh, the Red Galaxy? Uh, mainly to TV broadcasters, mobile network operators and fixed and cable operators uh, who already own or are, are looking for an OTT solution. Uh, we also work with uh, content owners and content providers, uh, with organizers of live events, for example, uh, MMA uh, fights, 
uh, and we provide services for media companies, publishers, or radio stations. Uh, what are the key benefits of uh, Red Galaxy? We can group them into six areas. Uh, for sure, Red Galaxy is a comprehensive solution. It also guarantees uh, the speed and ease of implementation. It is a very flexible solution. Uh, it is available on a wide range of end platforms. Uh, it proves to be cost effective and in, it interoperates uh, with third party solutions. In more details, uh, comprehensive. It means uh, that we support full chain of video processing. Uh, as we said at the beginning, from ingesting of live and the VOD content, uh, through transcoding, uh, storing and distributing over CDN, up to publication, uh, including front, uh, front ends and the back office. Uh, due to the fact that uh, Red Galaxy is uh, mainly offered um, as a cloud solution, uh, cloud solution, the implementation is um, very quick uh, and uh, since it is a proprietary solution, all the customization, all the integration work is uh, done really in weeks instead of the months. It is also flexible because it is modular, uh, so all the components can be used all together or also separately. We can, for example, ju provide just CDN uh, uh, with storage or just DRM servers. Uh, apart from that, it also supports various business models. Uh, as we stated already in, the, in previous slides, uh, Red Galaxy is available on uh, many different uh, end user platforms starting from uh, web, uh, through uh, mobile up, uh, platforms, up to uh, connected TVs uh, or uh, PlayStation. Uh, since it is uh, offered uh, in a PaaS model, uh, but uh, we can also use on-premise and hybrid model, uh, then uh, the cost of implementation and use of Red Galaxy is re really low. Uh, generally, uh, it is uh, uh, we use the pay-as-you-grow model. Uh, about the, the business model, I will tell you in a minute. Uh, and uh, last, uh, but also very important benefit is that we uh, have proven interoperability with uh, third-party solutions like uh, Google Analytics, Genius, uh, some recommendation engines, some search engines with uh, payment brokers, with STB vendors. So you can be sure that uh, wherever you, uh, whatever you already have in your uh, network or your customer, then Red Galaxy can be integrated with uh, existing uh, solutions. Okay, uh, to sum up uh, what, make a, what, what makes us different, for sure that uh, we offer end-to-end -end solutions. So we are kind of a one-stop shop for everything, for all your internet television needs. Uh, second thing, uh, since Red Galaxy is a proprietary solution, uh, then we have uh, and our customers have significant, significant impact on uh, development of new features, uh, and generally about the, the future of the, of the platform. Uh, then uh, we offer full customization of the solution and uh, thanks to that very short uh, time to market. Uh, we also offer flexible deployment models uh, together with uh, uh, offering uh, the Galaxy on commodity servers and hardware. So we are hardware agnostic in this case. Uh, and uh, last but not least, uh, we have more than 10 years of experience in many different video projects, uh, including integration with many different uh, third-party solutions. And uh, we have some great achievements like uh, passing uh, more than 400 gigabits per second in CDN or uh, handling more than 5 million real users on our OTT platforms. Okay, a little bit uh, about our business models. So it's very, very simple. Uh, we provide uh, licenses for backend uh, and frontends for each uh, end user platforms. 
uh, we uh, offer implementation uh, which consists of deployment, configuration, integration and customization. And uh, then, of course, we support our solution. We provide technical support, uh, maintenance, uh, bug fixes, uh, and all the services uh, 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 concerning uh, delivery of video content over the internet. This model uh, is pay as you grow, so it's very, very attractive for all kinds of uh, customers. Okay, uh, we reach uh, the end of the presentation. Uh, let's move uh, back to, to Przemek and uh, presentation of uh, our implementations. Thank you, Maciej. So now I would switch into the web browser to show you some our existing deployments, player.pl, the largest Polish VOD service allows to view live content, view OKD content, but I will now not focus in show, I will not focus in showing you what are the features, just to show you that customization can be uh, quite huge. We can adapt to customer needs in terms of branding and in terms of uh, some uh, layout features and uh, with uh, we provide a framework which allows to desi design your front page using sections. I'll show you this in a moment. Uh, some other deployments, in this case Vectra, you can see what is very nice here, a live player, full screen player with EPG on top of it and catch-up TV um, blocks and what is for me, very nice, a quite complicated EPG grid, which can be scrolled in multiple ways, in different ways, and allows to schedule notifications, to share content, and in, in some kind, some uh, channels, you are able to uh, watch Catch Up TV, for example, in this way. Uh, but what is most important in our galaxy? Is backend, and now I'm showing you our UAT, UAT platform, our, our beta platform with backend solution. So you can see all content management features here. So as I said before during the Galaxy description, it consists of asset management, CRM and subscriber management, and content management, and some e-commerce part with tracking. So showing you specific uh, those specific parts we can go into content editing part asset editing you can see here a lot of metadata these metadata fields are automatically imported from external metadata sources usually we integrate with cable apps adi file format and here you can select from existing dictionaries of, for example, people, genres, categories, and so on. And you can provide a list of platforms or assign a list uh, of, of platforms on which content is uh, available. Content can be bundled in from this uh, place, but I will describe bundle features uh, in a separate uh, menu item. Then you can assign video assets with different uh, formats with smooth streaming hls and dash and in this case it's stored on our cdn so so all content packaging happens on the fly and it's totally selected by providing a specific service name as a part of uh, url you've got a list of subtitle uh, files some stripes which are generated automatically during encoding and gallery which is as before as above generated automatically during transcoding then you can allow uh, this content to be available in download to own scenario with specific availability duration and uh, duration after uh, starting the playback 
Now we are moving more, more to business or licensing related features. You can define emission windows, which uh, define when content is available and presented on the portal, and payment windows, which uh, uh, allows to define price divided into multiple uh, payment channels and availability in terms of uh, date and, and hour. And uh, next steps are just for the debugging and uh, to see what uh, payments were processed in scope of specific asset. From asset, you can build more sophisticated assets or assets which are serious and such series has uh, its own metadata uh, and allows to define multiple seasons and allows to assign a specific uh, asset to a season. So all other metadata fields, including payment windows and emission windows, are the same as, it, as, it, as in case of single video asset. The next part allows to manage live channels and those live, live channels can have uh, some other subset of uh, metadata but it still includes a list of available platforms and here you are able to define live features like time shift window, like catch up window and with features with start over and NPVR just for specific uh, platforms. Channel can be presented in a bundle too, and here you can preview EPG, and in this case, EPG is automatically imported from external systems. We are pre integrated with two large EPG, European EPG providers, MediaPress and uh, ACPA. Both, both of them are operating in Poland too. Other parts of uh, channel or life asset management are basically the same as is as in VOD uh, assets. Moving to bundles. Bundles allows to assign multiple assets, both live and VOD, and uh, those assets can be uh, easily uh, presented and obtained, purchased by, by the customer. So the customer is uh, purchasing a bundle and uh, he gains an access to all uh, assets which are a part of uh, bundle. And bundle itself can have a separate payment and emission windows uh, totally independent from uh, existing emission windows of uh, specific uh, assets. We've got some uh, special features which for example allows to provide the user live tv recording so if user purchases such a feature which is separately priced he will be able to uh, schedule recordings and to store it in our uh, cdn the last part is read only it's only for the uh, viewing purposes then we've got subscriber management uh, features as before with multiple tabs so you can see basic user metadata user profiles because uh, we can support profiles similar to netflix profiles so separate uh, users in how in a household can have multiple profiles connected to a single account then information about all payments in scope of user uh, we support cyclic payments, so we can uh, automatically schedule uh, payment using credit card in a cyclic uh, way. Then wallet management, so we can see if wallet was uh, loaded with points. Device management, a list of devices which are connected to user account. Agreements. In this case, uh, you can see if a uh, user is aware of regulations like GDPR regulations, some mailing information, it's presented uh, for user during registration or 
uh, login and uh, we are supporting multiple versions of such regulations and we store information about accepting it. it, accepting it. Then a list of downloads and the video tracking for the user, list of recordings and so on. Then a different uh, view of similar data, device management with agent user agent name, with producer, platform, uh, login IP and so on. We've got some trouble ticketing system, so it's a typical kind of trouble ticketing. You can manage flow of, uh, of such ticket, you can assign it to a specific uh, help desk operator and you can see what is the history and uh, and what uh, what was the cause of the of the of the problem you can assign it to to your user here a list of all offline uh, content all recorded npvr assets and now we are moving to one of the most important parts of uh, admin panel because it allows to define a uh, uh, home page uh, sections and allows to uh, to alter how the home page is uh, built so we defined uh, we define a home page as a list of sections and those sections can have multiple types for example in this case there is a banner section in the top it's an example of from this uh, UAT environment sorry then a list of favorites presented as a wild, wild one-liner. It's subscriber favorites, so we are communicating with external recommendation engine to to provide list of uh, this uh, this uh, those five favorites. Then a list of user recordings. Then some static pages with covers and in a similar way all other parts of a main page in a two lines uh, template or one line some parts are uh, solely a logo part and to each section you can easily uh, drag and drop assets which are registered on the portal so like this and it will be added to, to this section uh, we've got some dynamically generated sections. Uh, for example, in this case, I don't see any dynamic sections. Only favorites are generated from external recommendation systems, but usually some sections are generated uh, dynamically, automatically using uh, uh, algorithms like mostly viewed, mostly ordered, for example, random is possible to so some parts of a uh, home page can, can be generated automatically. Then we've got a tree of categories, tree of genres, logo types for channels and for other assets, static docu documents like regulations, GDPR regulations, and so on uh, for mobile devices we store here uh, templated json which allows to alter uh, menu layout uh, in mobile applications then regulations data processing rank of regulations so user has to accept uh, regulations in a specific order during either registration or login or payment money management which can be assigned on a home page to a specific section, list of avatars for user profiles, and a list of events. In this case, it's just audit log. Then our transactional part with a list of all transactions, a list of all cyclic payments, and uh, wallet top ups. Then we've got some neat features which allows to see specific video session uh, uh, it requires communication with our external bi solution so i hope it will work right now uh, but uh, it allows uh, self-care or help desk to see what is the 
specific uh, progress or details about a video session. So all kinds of events like SIG, like uh, content uh, quality adaptation, like content pausing, uh, stopping, all, video, all technical problems are reported here. In this case, I, I can see it doesn't work because it's integrated with our, our UAT environment, not the production one. So I'm not uh, able to show you this in, in this moment. And it's the last part of the portal, admin part with users, with privileges for the users, uh, with uh, GIP management, whitelisting, blacklisting, uh, important timers, uh, which are executed uh, in, a in a timely manner, and third-party settings, mostly related to integration. So, basically, I hope that uh, I was able to show you all details uh, and all features, important features of the Galaxy platform. And uh, because our time is uh, uh, ticking away, uh, we are ready to answer all of your questions right now. <laughs> Thank you for your attention and we are open for the questions. Yeah, so let me check the questions, just a second. There are some. Our program is on satellite. Are you offering any download link and streaming services? We are operating two headends uh, in Poland, so we can provide such headend uh, download and encoding as a part of our cloud, as long as program is available on UtilSalt uh, Hotbird. Mm -hmm. Does Red Galaxy support AVOD and download it to own business modules? Yes, it supports yeah. both of them. In case of AVOD, we are pre integrated with uh, ad servers common in Poland, like AdOcean, but uh, we can support Google DFP too. So basically, all kinds of uh, ad servers with, with vast and repaid support and download to one is supported on the mobile devices including DRM protection so Android uh, devices and iOS devices and of course during the implementation phase we can work out business models as well okay beside browser and smartphones what devices are supported by Red Galaxy Okay, so we mostly focus on connected TV platforms like Samsung Smart TV, LG WebOS, Android TV, set, uh, including Android TV custom set of boxes like Sajam Com, Xiaomi, uh, or Nvidia Shield. Uh, and we support PlayStation 4. Uh, and right now we are working on Apple TV support. And by the way, in case of web, uh, content can be easily, or in case of mobile, can, it can be easily sent to external Chromecast devices. Okay. Can we integrate Red Galaxy with, with our existing OTT portal? How would that look like? It depends on the specific project scope, but uh, yes, Red Galaxy backend parts can be integrated with uh, existing uh, OTT portal. And the other scenario is to uh, deploy our portal solution and integrate with it with existing CDN, encoding, billing, transaction, e-commerce, and, and, and so on. So both scenarios are possible. We are open to work with uh, telco uh, customers which have an existing uh, OTT ecosystem. Okay, and one last one. How much customization on the web portal is possible? Is there an API for fully individual implementations? Mm -hmm. Yes, a API is possible and we provide open API, REST API to uh, 
create or to develop own apps for all end user platforms, including uh, web. But we are quite flexible during deployment process. And uh, I shown you uh, how uh, our different deployments look like, and, uh, and you can see that they are different. They are the the customization was quite heavy, especially if, for example in Vectra. So we can we are flexible. We can work with customer and we can suit uh, according to customer needs. In natural, the sky sky is the limit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you. That have been all questions. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much for your support, Maggie and Promislav. Thank you for all the participants.